you know, I'm not a person who has doubted God. It's been such a profound part of my life that I would more likely doubt the existence of clouds. I've never touched a cloud. I've even flown through them, but I've, I, I can't say I've put my hands on them and felt them. I can say that God is much more real to me than, than the clouds or anything else. It, it's not abstract. It's not just something mentally that I believe in. It's something that I've truly felt, experienced through my whole being and life. I think we should always be asking ourselves, can we follow our faith to its logical conclusion? One of the most important parts of my own development as a believer has been to not question whether I believe, but questioned, could I, could I defend it? Was it intellectually defensible? And for me, I think it's one of the most important uh, aspects of, uh, of my faith is that that's why I'm comfortable talking to Bill Maher. It's not that I'm convincing him, but I'm not intimidated by him. If I go to John Stewart or if I talk to Stephen Colbert, if I go to, to Yale or Harvard or Cornell or Brown University and I talk to those students, I'm never fearful that, oh, they're going to put me in a box. I'm not going to be able to deal with what they'll throw at me because they may throw some questions at me about my faith. I've never walked in or out of those settings and thought, wow, I just don't even know what I believe. Mm -hmm. Never felt that way.